Hello everyone, Mr. Monk's last case has arrived on Peacock. This is the new Monk movie, and Monk was a long-running show. And it's a popular show. I actually was aware of Monk when it came out, but I didn't fully watch it until it was on syndication years later on USA and in a Hallmark channel. I saw it with my parents during the pandemic. And I have to say, I've always been a big fan of Tony Shalhoub. He's a wonderful actor. I like his small roles in Men in Black and Galaxy Quest, Marvelous Miss Maisel. And of course, he returns to form here as Adrian Monk, bringing us a very different Adrian Monk. I can relate to Adrian now, you know? I became such a germaphobe and less of a people person after the pandemic, and it's great seeing Monk stay the same in a way, but in a different world. You know, at the end, he solved his wife's murder, Trudy's murder, and he was a little bit better, you know? He was more like the monk we saw in the flashbacks. He met Trudy's daughter, Molly, who in this film was played by Caitlin McGee. It's great seeing Monk kind of live a little. Everybody went their separate ways. Natalie, Randy, Stottlemyre, they all come back here in different ways and it's a celebration at the beginning turn tragedy we get to see molly engaged she's getting married her husband's investigating this rich man and a certain conspiracy a murder so to speak and basically he goes base jumping and the wire's too long and he dies so molly figures out that he might have been murdered she doesn't think it's a freak accident that's where monk comes in and it's great seeing everybody after so many years, seeing where they have been, and then also seeing how like the pandemic affected Monk. Yes, by the end of the show, he was back to normal, but with this and COVID, it almost like regressed him back to the way he used to be. But on top of that, not only is there a great mystery in this film and some wonderful moments of comedy, it's a very deep, heartfelt movie as well that deals with mental health, and that's one area that completely blindsided me in this film, especially if you've gone through mental health stuff yourself. And going through hard times, you get to recognize it in Adrian Monk here, and it brought back a lot of emotion, so to speak. And it's also kind of difficult seeing a detective, you know, one of your favorite uh, TV characters, go through this again, go through his trauma, but then also feeling kind of worthless, you know? And it's great seeing how this last case, so to speak, brings him back into his like private eye mode, you know? And I love that. Would I have liked to see the group back together more? Absolutely, but it was great seeing Natalie, seeing what she's been up to, what happened after the show, seeing Randy. Stottlemyre has a new security gig. And he works for this rich man, this Eden gentleman who owns Eden Industries. He's pretty much like an Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos type of figure. And we have James Purfoy as this main guy, prime suspect number one. And if you're aware of his work in like Resident Evil or Rome, you kind of know what to expect. The fun is the destination of how they prove a murder has taken place and the antics they get into throughout the case. And that's where you get some of that monk charm from the TV show back in. Hector Lozondo returns as Dr. Bell. It was great seeing him. It was just great seeing everybody. Like, yeah, everybody's gotten older. Time has passed. The world's changed with COVID, but like nobody misses a beat. It's still the same characters you know and love from Monk. And that was great seeing this like return. I never thought that would be possible. I was like, maybe they should have made a Monk movie earlier, you know? Kind of like how Psych was made right after Psych. But it was cool seeing this nevertheless. Tony Shalhoub just still gives a great performance of not only comedic timing, but dramatic performance as well of what Adrian Monk's going through. Seeing Trudy dealing with her daughter, with Molly and her trauma and her losing a husband, her husband, or should I say fiance, they're not married, it was a day before the wedding. The fiance gets murdered and basically that brings back emotions for him because he knew what he went through with Trudy's loss. So. It was just a very heartfelt, enjoyable movie. I did enjoy a lot of the humor when it comes to germs and wipes and how everybody was using the wipes. Everybody's like Mr. Monk now. And I feel personally a tad because me personally in real life, I'm kind of a germaphobe. <laughs> the part where the automatic soap dispenser cracked me up so hard. I, that's why I love shopping at Target. They have the automatic soap dispensers. You don't have to worry about that. But it's just so funny seeing that. And I always wondered that, like, watching this show during COVID, I was like, what would Monk be like, you know? And they did that reunion special, that little short, during the pandemic, and it was great seeing them come back for this. Fingers crossed we're open for a Psych Monk crossover soon. But if you're a fan of Monk the TV show, 
I highly recommend checking this out on Peacock. It's about an hour and 27 minutes. It's good. It has a lot of nods to the TV show. So if you're aware of all the episodes, there's some really good Easter eggs in there and great reminders. And even for those who haven't seen it, it'd be good as a standalone, you know. And I enjoyed it. I highly enjoyed it. If I have to give it a score, I'd give it an A. It was good. I liked it. Were the TV cases a bit more intricate? Yeah, but that also ran such a long time of like, what else are you going to do? So I'm kind of glad that they updated it to a post-COVID world with like SpaceX stuff, with social media. I'm kind of glad they brought that element into Monk because that stuff wasn't really as apparent back then, you know, it was just barely taken off. So it's kind of cool seeing how they deal with that in Monk and, and Monk's place in the world. So yeah. Yeah, if you're free this weekend and you're a fan of Monk or you just want a good mystery, check out Mr. Monk's Last Case. You have some tears, you have some laughs, but overall, a good time. Those are my brief thoughts on Mr. Monk's Last Case. Let me know what you thought of the film. If you're a fan, what are some of your favorite episodes? Let me know down in the comments below. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more content. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Till next time.